okay so i assume that you all of you have downloaded this application and so once you download this application through uh, your app store this icon will be available in your mobile so now let's open this applications and we'll try to understand the step by step process to fill the information in this application so let's click on this icon first and let's see that so first this is the first page and here you can select the language if you are comfortable with french you can go with the french if you are comfortable with the english you can keep as it is and you just click on the start then you will have to uh, read this privacy note obviously we are not going to read that we are just going to click on the i accept and just click on the next then you will be asked to let's get started just click on the next finish as you go just click on the next and submit the application form okay so we want to submit so let's click on the next so here there are two options so if, as you can see the first option is entry into canada by air so if you are going to enter into canada by air then you have to click over here if you are going to enter into the canada by land let's say if you are traveling to us to canada by land then this is the option that you will have to fill up okay so i assume that i am going to enter into the canada by air so let's click on this then you will have to fill up this information so the first information is you have to fill up that the your airport name so as we discussed there are currently only four international airports are running or allowed to take the flights fine so let's select the airport let's assume that i am going to land in the pearson international airport so in terminal 1 so let's i write the pearson international airport terminal 1 fine then you can write the airline so here you have to select let's i assume that our famous airline of india which is air india let me select that you can write the flight number let's me write some any random number this is my flight number and you have to select the date of arrival so let's i assume that i will travel on the 21st may in the air india and then you will have to select the time so let me select the any random time just click on the done okay so now let's click on the next then it will ask you for the surname information about the traveler so you will ask you will have to write let's say you write this your surname let's say john smith any random name anything you can write no it is optional so i will not write your date of birth so let me write any date of birth let's say this is the 5th may 2004 this is my birth date okay let's click on the next so here is the one traveler is added so if you have any other traveler so you can click on the add another traveler and you will have to add this suppose if you are a family of three then you have to do this process three times fine so to avoid the to reduce the timing of this video so i will not going to do that fine so simply i will click on the next and then it will ask you for the destination type so as we discuss you can see there are four options the first option is returning home means if you are a canadian permanent resident or citizen and you are coming back to your home then you have to select this option fine if you are a copr holder if you are a study permit holder and you are going to stay with your family or the friends then you have to select the second option right and the third option is if you do not have any fans or family and if you are going to stay in the airbnb or any rental accommodation then you have to select the third options fine otherwise you can go for the fourth one so let's say i am assuming that i am going to stay with my friends or family so i am going with the second option right then the street number and the so you have to provide the address so address where you are going to stay so let's say for example i am going to write the any a street random number let's say city i will write let's say regina i am going to stay in the saskatchewan fine or let's say better let me write uh, let's say saskatoon and let's me write this the postal code let's say i know the postal code simple postal code is s7 h 0 a 1 
so this is the postal code for the saskatchewan and the province you have to select let's say i am going to the saskatchewan then the date of arrival means when you will arrive at this location or at this point so let's say assuming that as i will be arriving on 21 so i will i will select the 21 may 2020 10 we 2020 i will reach on this destination and the date of departure when you will re leave this destination so usually you will have to stay 14 days quarantine as per the rule of government of canada so usually we have to select the departure date after the 14 days however if you have the multiple destinations so you may go with the another option you can select add another destination and you can add the multiple addresses but right now i assume that we are going to stay at the one location for the 14 days so let me select the any date in the june let's say assume i will stay up to 11th june 2020 so now let's click on the next then it will ask you the phone number so let me write the phone number any random number this is the phone number secondary phone number if you want to give you can give that you can write the any email address let me write any test random number so test at the red gmail.com let me click on the next then you will have to fill up the assessment form for the covid 19 and few questions about the quarantine plan so let's click on the next and there are five questions you can see that so the first question is are you or any of the traveler listed in this form experiencing any of the following symptoms means you are having fever cough difficulty in breathing obviously we have the no so you can see the name is also there so probably when you add the multiple travelers you will have to do the multiple clicks so carefully remember this so fine so currently let's say uh, i will select that uh, there are no symptoms so i am going to select no fine then do you have accommodations where you can quarantine for 14 days yes we already have the accommodation that we have already given the address so i'm going to select yes fine third question is are there any vulnerable people at the location where you plan to quarantine so here vulnerable people it means that if you see in this video you will see this if any people who is having the underlying medical condition with compromised immune system from a medical condition or treatment or a 65 years of age or older people then you should not allow to stay at this place fine so you have to say that there are there are no any worry vulnerable people is there in that location or there is no any people who is having the compromised immune system at this page at this place fine so simply i will say no click on the next fine and the next question is is your quarantine accommodation a group living environment means you are going to stay in the group home or senior residence no we are going to stay with the family or the friends so i will select no then the last question is can you have a food medicines and other necessities delivered to your accommodation while in the quarantine it means that do you have your quarantine plan as we have discussed we have to write or one document for our quarantine plan so what we are going to select here is we are going to select yes we have the quarantine plan how we are going to get our food medicines and other necessity delivers now let's click on the next then last thing is most important you will need to enter a token here you have to enter the token number and this token number will be available on site at canadian airports and borders fine so if you don't have a token number you can read this description okay what you can do so again it will say that okay, you can either save and close this file close this uh, form and whenever you reach to the canada airport you ask to the cbsa officer about this token number and then you can write your token number and you can submit the form fine so right now what i will do this i will click on this i don't have the token number at this point i will just click and save on this so you'll see that there is a one more option is available you have one step left so all the other informations are added only one information is left which is a token number 
so as you enter the token number and then you click on the submit your application will be submitted in the arrive can app fine so i hope you understand the step by step process how to enter the information through the arrive can app so i hope i have answered your all the queries fine please do not forget to subscribe my channel for the latest updates and videos about the canada immigration i hope you like the video and if you like the video please click on the like button thank you